Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to add a new tenant in Azure Active Directory. This video is about the update in our training lab. Earlier, I was using Azure AD tenant name msapsurat.onmicrosoft.com with trial subscription in our test environment. Now, the trial subscription is expired, so we need to create new Azure AD tenant with new trial subscription. Already, I have created video on how to create a new Azure AD tenant using Azure portal during the Azure AD tutorial series. Link to that video is also given in the description area. In this video, we will be adding a new Azure AD tenant using our existing user account. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure AD Admin Center. Sign in to the Azure AD Admin Center with an account that is the global administrator for your organization. We can access Azure AD Admin Center using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Click on Azure Active Directory. We can see our existing Active Directory with the primary domain msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. At top bar, click on Manage Tenants. Here we can see our existing Active Directory tenant with the organization name msfsurat. Click Create to start creating a new tenant. On the basic step, select the type of tenant you want to create. In this example, we will select Azure Active Directory. Select Next Configuration to move on to the Configuration tab. On the Configuration tab, provide the organization name and initial domain name. Type MSF Surat 2.0 into the organization name box. This is going to be our organization name. Next to type MSF Surat v2 into the initial domain name box. If the application that you want to install in this tenant is not eligible for your country and if it is only for testing purpose, it is better to select United States. So we will leave the United States option in the country or region box. Select Next Review plus Create. At top, we can see Validation Pass Message. Review the information you entered and if the information is correct, click on Create. Enter the CAPTCHA for verification. Click on Submit. We can see the confirmation message that tenant creation is in progress. This will take some time to create new Azure Active Directory tenant. A new tenant is created successfully with the domain name msfsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com. Here we can see the message, tenant creation was successful. Click here to navigate to your new Azure Active Directory tenant. Let me click on MSF Surat 2.0. Here we can see basic information about our Azure Active Directory tenant. MSF Surat 2.0, which is the organization name and primary domain is MSF Surat v2.onmicrosoft.com. At this moment, we can see license type is Azure Active Directory free. At top bar, click on Manage Tenants. Here we can see, now we have two Azure Active Directory tenant, MSF Surat and MSF Surat 2.0. We can confirm that MSF Surat 2.0 is our default Azure Active Directory tenant. Let's again click on Overview. We can also see we have one user. When we create a new Azure AD tenant, we become the first user of that tenant. As the first user, we are automatically assigned the global admin role. 
As you can see, right now we have Azure Active Directory free subscription. But we need Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 subscription for our video series. So we'll get a free trial subscription of Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5. Under Manage, click on Licenses. Under Quick Tasks, click on Get a free trial link. Under Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5, click on Free Trial. Now click on Activate and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message Successfully Activated Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 Trial. So we have successfully created new Azure Active Directory tenant msapsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com with Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 Trial subscription. Going forward, we'll be using this Azure Active Directory domain with the name msapsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com. In the next video, we will see the steps on how to delete our old Azure Active Directory tenant msapsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com. So that concludes the video on how to add a new tenant in Azure Active Directory using Azure AD Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.